a ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Well, welcome aboard, everyone. It's great to see you on this Friday. Happy Friday, May the 24th, 2024. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. I apologize we were not able to broadcast yesterday. We, uh, Boy, it's not because we didn't give it, a, give it a, a valiant effort. We tried and tried yesterday. Usually, um, when we have issues like that, I can go back and do a total reboot of all the devices that I'm using, and um, typically that will remedy the problem. Yesterday, it wouldn't work. We did multiple reboots and uh, started again and tried and tried, and just nothing, nothing that we uh, tried uh, helped. And so anyway, I apologize that we were not able to broadcast yesterday, but praise the Lord. We're here today. I've got one red flag that's, uh, that's popping up, but I'm hoping that we're coming in loud and clear today. And as always, if we're coming in and everything seems good on your end, how about sending up a little love and uh, some thumbs up, some hearts, uh, maybe even a comment or two. Let us know that we're coming in loud and clear, and that would be a blessing. It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina where I'm broadcasting from, and I trust it's a wonderful day where you are today, and we are so delighted to have you tuning in today. Well, listen, without further ado, I'm going to take us over here to this split screen, but let me just encourage you right now to share, to like and share the broadcast, and also be sure that you comment, and we would love to recognize our live audience as we're leaving the air today. And so I want to encourage you to do that. And uh, we, we, we love to do that. It's, it takes just a few moments, but it's such an important part of our broadcast. And uh, we love our Countdown family. We love our Calvary family. And uh, we're delighted to have you uh, tuning in today. Let's see here. Let me see if I can take us successfully over here to the split screen. And just make mention of a few things. And I saw some hearts going up there. Thank you so much. I appreciate your interaction with the broadcast today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, listen, I want to make mention, of course, of our Commission Coalition that's coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow on the campus of the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove, North Carolina. And uh, looking forward to all the Lord is going to do. Now, <clears throat> let me mention what that means. Commission Coalition. We started doing this several years ago. And so from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, we're going to be having what we call our Ministry Expo. Ministry Expo. And uh, let me explain that. And so during that hour, we're going to feature about 30 outreach ministries of course, that all happen at the Calvary Baptist Church. 30 outreach ministries will have tables set up for all 30 of those outreach ministries. And this gives our people, and especially our newer people, it gives them an opportunity to see uh, all the different outreaches of the church. And maybe it gives them, gives them an opportunity to get signed up and to get involved, to get plugged in in a ministry. Now, church, listen, it is very important that you and I don't just come and sit on a seat or sit on a pew. It's very important that you and I give get active in the work of the Lord. And as we see the coming of the Lord uh, drawing closer, it's very important that you and I are involved in a ministry. Now you say, uh, preacher, you know, I'm not called to preach. Listen, you don't have to be called to preach to get involved in the church. Uh, if you're a born-again, blood-washed child of God, you ought to be involved serving the Lord and in the building of the kingdom. Can I get an amen right there? And so from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, we'll have our ministry expo. It's going to be such a great time. And then from 11 to 2, 11 to 2, it's just going to be a fun time on the campus. And uh, by the way, if you're a visitor, you're welcome to come. We encourage you to come. This is very much a community outreach. And so anybody in our community, listen, you're welcome to come. We encourage you to be there from uh 
from 10 to 2. Uh, listen, here's some things that we're going to be doing. We're going to be having food trucks on the property, and so we've got the 67 pizza truck. We've got Tony's Tacos. We've got the coffee truck, and then we've got one more food truck, a specialty truck that's coming. And so it's going to be great time of food and fellowship. Also, we're going to be having the ice cream stand set up. We'll have about 10 flavors uh, of ice cream. This is always a huge hit. And so uh, if you want some good ice cream, come on over. Come on over to Calvary. And, uh, and by the way, it won't cost you anything. And so uh, the, the uh, ice cream stand won't cost you anything. Now, the food truck's going to cost. Uh, but the ice cream stand will be free of charge. Uh, also, we're going to have the inflatables. We're going to have the bounce house. We're going to have the big 30-foot slide for the children. We're going to have the obstacle course. We're going to have live music during that time, and so we'll have uh, different ones singing and playing. Some of our great musicians will be singing. Some of our great singers will be singing. Uh, we're going to have a big cornhole tournament yesterday, uh, tomorrow, the big cornhole tournament, and something new. We're going to have an axe throwing tournament yesterday. Uh, why do I keep saying yesterday? Tomorrow, uh, we'll have axe throwing a tournament. Uh, we're going to have the closest to the pin tournament tomorrow. And, uh, and just listen, just a lot of fun things going on. And so I want to encourage you again, Ministry Expo begins at 10 o'clock, 10 to 11, and then from 11 to 2, just a fun time of Commission Coalition. And so I want to encourage you to be there. It's going to be a hoot. It's going to be a great, great time together. And we're looking forward to all the Lord is going to do. And then, of course, Sunday, uh, we will be uh, having a very special time together as we commemorate Memorial Day. And so it's just going to be a big weekend. Every, every service, every weekend at Calvary is a big weekend. And so I encourage it, especially if you don't have any place to be, come be with us at Calvary. And we're looking forward to all that the Lord is going to do. Also, we're going to go ahead and take care of our giveaway today. We have not one but two. We have a wonderful CD by the nuns, uh, What the Blood Does. And we have another wonderful CD by Luke Moore on Remember His Faithfulness. And we're going to do two giveaways right now, all right? So if you shared, I appreciate that, and I so appreciate my uh, little redhead. I appreciate her getting all the names together. So many of you have been sharing, and we really appreciate that from the bottom of our heart. Let me grab two names out. We'll give away the uh, Nun CD first, the Nun CD first, all right? And uh, the winner is... Christina Mitchell. Christina Mitchell has won the Nun CD. And so, Christina, I hope you're watching today. And if you are watching, congratulations. Uh, and we appreciate you being a wonderful part of our Countdown family. And then for the Luke Moore, uh, let's see here. The Luke Moore. Let me, let me grab another name here. That didn't work out. Uh, let's see. The Luke Moore CD is none other than Ricky Bird. Ricky Bird won the Luke Moore CD. And so, Christina and Ricky, congratulations. We'll have these for you at the information desk. We'll have your name on them. And you can pick those up on Sunday morning. And that will be great. That'll be great. Well, hey, I want to talk to you about the Word of God a little bit today, all right? And so, look in your Bibles, if you will, at uh, Psalm 119 and uh, verse number 10. We've been talking about this subject, how to keep from wondering. How to keep from wondering. The psalmist said it like this in Psalm 119, verse number 10. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O let me not wonder, W-A-N-D-E-R. O let me not wonder from thy commandments. We used this earlier as we began this uh, series. Robert Robinson wrote the words, Come thou fount of every blessing. And he said this, he said, O to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness like a fetter bind my wondering heart to thee. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, old take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. Now, what can we do? What can we do? And I know we, we weren't able to broadcast yesterday, so we may carry this on out a little bit next week, but what can you and I do to keep us from wondering, 
from the will of God, from the joy of the Lord, uh, from living for Christ. What can we do to keep us from wandering? Well, uh, this is so simple, but so, so very important. Number one, I wrote this down. Uh, how do I keep from wandering, preacher? Number one, stick with the group. Stick with the group. Now, uh, you're in Psalm 119 already probably, but I want to draw your attention to Psalm 119 and verse 31. And the psalmist said it like this, I have stuck. I love it. He said, I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. And that's so important. Stick with the group. If we're going to uh, we're going to guard ourselves against wandering from the will of God. It is so important that you and I stick with the group. Now, when I say stick with the group, of course, I'm talking about stay with the people of the Lord. Uh, stay with the right crowd. Stay with people that love Jesus. Stay with people that just love the word of God. Listen, stick with the group. Let me give you some more great verses if I could. Again, Psalm 119 and verse 63, the psalmist said, I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. How about Proverbs chapter 13 and verse number 20? He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. How about Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse number 5, one of my favorite verses there. Jeremiah said, I will get me unto the great men and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Lord. Now, uh, you say, Pastor, what are you saying? I'm saying if we're going to, to stick in there, if we're going to keep ourselves uh, from wandering from the will of God, the perfect will of God, if we're going to uh, continue to serve the Lord year after year after year and do the perfect will of God year after year after year. It's very important that we stick with the group. What do you mean, preacher? What do you mean stick with the group? Stay with those that love the Lord. Stay with those that are passionate about serving Christ. Uh, stay in the house of God. That's such an important one right there. Stay in the house of the Lord. Listen to what the psalmist said in Psalm 122. And verse 1, he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go unto the house, into the house of the Lord. Oh, listen, so important that you and I stay with the right crowd. Stay with those people that love Christ. Stay with those people that love the word of God, that love prayer, that love winning souls, that love serving Jesus. Uh, listen, I I'm going to tell you, and I know this isn't preaching time, but uh, I'm going to tell you something. It's not a drudgery for me to go to God's house on Sunday. Are you kidding me? I love it. I love it. I can't wait for the doors to open. My wife and I were there today. Nobody else was there, just me and her and the Lord. But uh, listen, we love being there. It doesn't matter if anybody's there or not. But I'm going to tell you something. I love going to the house of God. And I'll tell you why. Because I love being around a crowd that has a heart for Jesus I love being around people that love God and love his word and love serving Christ. And uh, it's been my privilege now to be the pastor of the Calvary Baptist Church for over 33 years. And you know what? I'm supposed to go there and inspire them. But you know what happens? They inspire me. I go there on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. And, and, and as I'm around them and as I fellowship with them, you know what they do? They encourage me. They inspire me. That's what I'm talking about. Stick with the group. Stick with the group. If you're watching this broadcast today and you've wondered, hey, listen, are you still with the group? You say, well, no, Pastor, I'm not. Well, there you go. There you go. You say, that's not very deep preaching. That's not very deep preaching, but that's good preaching right there. Hey, get back with the group. You know what that means? Some of you folks that are watching this broadcast today, if you've strayed away, if you've wandered away from, from the will of God this coming Sunday, not next Sunday, not the next Sunday after that, this coming Sunday, you ought to be planted in the house of God. This coming Sunday, you ought to be planted in the house of the Lord. Get your family, get up, and be there on Sunday morning. By the way, be back on Sunday night. Be back on Wednesday night. Be there for revival. Be there for conferences. Uh, listen, be there for ladies' meetings and youth groups and all those things. Why? Because you and I need to stick with the group. If we're going to keep ourselves from wandering away from the will of God, it's very important that we stay with God's people. I'm getting ready to amen myself right now. Amen. That is so true. 
Boy, that's true. Amen. That is so true. Listen, I love to watch these. Uh, I love to watch these wildlife videos of these animals in remote countries. Anybody else like that? Man, I, I love to watch these nature videos of these animals, um, elephants and uh, wildebeest and water buffaloes and all these things. You know, the lion that live in the bush, live in the Serengeti. I love to watch these, uh, these videos, but I said that for a purpose. Uh, and how many know this is, this is so true? Typically, those predators, those animals that are on the top of the food chain, you know what they do? They wait for one unsuspecting animal to get away from the herd. Now, folks, listen. I know this is elementary. But I hope somebody's going to listen to me today because I'm telling you this is important. Somebody needs to hear this today. Those, those predators at the top of the food chain, they wait for that one unsuspecting, weak animal to get away from the herd. And when they see that that animal has gotten away from the herd, then they attack. Then they attack. And that animal is very susceptible that animal usually ends up, you know, usually that animal ends up dead. Uh, now, you say, why is that, Pastor? I'll tell you why. Because they got away from the group. They didn't stick with the group. They got away from the group. Hey, listen to Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen: Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Amen. Amen. I believe this 150% what I'm teaching. I believe it. Boy, I hope we're coming in. Are we coming in loud and clear? I hope we're coming in loud and clear today because uh, I believe somebody needs to hear this. Stick with the group, friend. Stick with the group. Hey, let me give you a great reference today. You, I want you to, to uh, look this up and read this in your devotions. Look at uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4. And verse number 9, Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9, the Bible says two are better than one. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth. For he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? Listen to verse 12. And if one prevail against him, Two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. What's that talking about, Pastor? It's talking about sticking with the group, sticking with the group. And if we stick with the group, you know what happens? It keeps us from wandering. Wow. Wow. Well, hey, amen. Amen to the broadcast today because you know what? If it didn't help anybody else, <laughs> it helped me today. And I hope you got a little help as well. Hey, listen, I'm going to put our, uh, our prayer helpline on the screen right now, 704-327-5662. If you're watching the broadcast today and you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, I want you to call that number. Call that number. If no one answers immediately, that's all right. Leave your name. Leave a number. And one of our prayer helpline workers would love to call you back and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you today. All right. Hey, listen, I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to recognize our live audience before we leave the air today. And uh, I hope we were coming in loud and clear. Michael Pendergrass is watching. Hello, Brother Michael. Good to see you. Hope you and Sherry are having a blessed day today. It's good to see you, Peter Spirito. Hey, Peter. Good to see you, brother. We're missing you at Calvary. Hope to see you back really, really soon. Karen Hoffman's watching. Hello, Miss Karen. Thanks for watching from Concord, North Carolina. And Karen, we love you and appreciate you. It's good to see you, Judy Connor. Hey, Judy. Good to see you today. Thank you so much for being a part of our uh, countdown family, Judy. We really appreciate that. Dave Taylor's watching from Detroit, Michigan. Hello, brother Dave. Good to see you, my brother. I hope you have a great day at work today. It's, it's good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, the Hooks are watching. Barry and Christine are watching from Morganton, North Carolina. We welcome the Hooks aboard. It's so good to see you folks. Uh, Janet Daniels is watching today. Hello, Miss Janet. Hope you and Alex are having a, a blessed day today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Teresa Cheek. Hello, Teresa. Hope you and Jay are having an incredible week so far. 
And Teresa, it's good to see you on the broadcast today, Gary and Christine Edwards. Hello, Gary. Hello, Christine. Thank you for tuning into the, to, into the broadcast today. We really appreciate that. Ricky Bird is watching. Hey, Ricky, congratulations on winning the CD. And uh, Ricky, look forward to seeing you this weekend. Renee Cleary is watching. Hey, Renee. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in, Carmen Brooks. Hey, Carmen, good to see you today. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, Carmen. We sure appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in today. Lisa Yarborough is watching. Hello, Lisa. Thank you for tuning in on this Friday. We really appreciate that. That's such a blessing. Patsy Bird is watching. Hello, Miss Patsy. Hope you're having a wonderful day in harmony. Give Ronnie our best. And it's good to see you on the broadcast today. Thank you, folks, for letting us know we're coming in loud and clear. I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Joyce Jones is watching. Hey, Joyce. Good to see you on the broadcast today. Hope you and Jerry are having an incredible day today. It's great to see you. Um, Stacy Brown is watching today. Hey, Stacy. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you this coming weekend. Thank you for tuning in. Michael says, cutting in and out. Um saying lost live signal and so uh if anybody else had that problem let us know but it looks like hearts are still going up right now at least and so we thank the lord for that christy tyner's watching today hey christy i hope you and austin and the family are having a wonderful wonderful day today it's good to see you um let's see here um boy i hope i i saw some others say going in and out uh, hey, listen, if we're still coming in loud and clear right now, if we came back in, then send up some love. We would appreciate that a lot. I see hearts going up right now. That's that's good. Uh, let's see here. Harrison Wabirus watching from Caratina, Kenya. Harrison, good to see you, brother. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you and Lucy are having a wonderful day in Kenya today. Uh, Timothy Hannah Morgan, we want to welcome the Morgans aboard. I'm guessing that's my... My little girl there, and uh, and so we're going to go ahead and play it safe and say hello to Timothy and uh, Moses and Adrian and Evie. Thank you guys for tuning in today. That's a blessing. Thank y'all. We love y'all. Uh, Kelly Quick is watching today. Hey, Kelly, good to see you. Thank you for tuning in on this Friday. Uh, Jessica Wyatt's watching. Hey, Jessica, hope you're having a great day today. If Jordan's watching, hello to Jordan. I hope to see him this coming Lord's Day. It's good to see you guys. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I've got everybody. Uh, Michelle Hoots is watching. Hey, Michelle, hope you and Lee and the kids are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Harvey Collins, my good friend from East Bend, North Carolina. Harvey, good to see you. Thank you for tuning in today. Tyler Robinson's watching. Hey, Tyler. Tyler, hope you come back to Calvary soon. We would love to see you at Calvary. It's good to see you today, Christina Mitchell. Hey, Christina, congratulations on winning the, the Nun Sister CD. We'll have it waiting for you at the information desk. Hope you and David are blessed and having a great day today. Um, let's see here. Let me make sure I got everybody. Allison Tomlin's watching. Hey, Allison. Hope you and Rodney are having an incredible week. Thank you for tuning in today. Stephanie McNeely is watching. Hey, Stephanie. Hope you and Raphael and RJ and Naomi are having a wonderful day today. Uh, let's see. Well, listen, it looks like at least some of you were having some issues. Some of you weren't. Uh, uh, let me just give you this. If you are watching the broadcast and it's freezing up, go all the way out of the app. Go all the way out of the app. Close it out. Come back in and start again. And sometimes that will uh, refresh it. And sometimes that will get you going again. All right. And so uh, anyway, on our end, it looks like we're doing okay. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you have an incredible weekend. We look forward to seeing many of you at Commission Coalition tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And then, of course, the service is on Sunday. It's going to be a big day, and we're looking forward to all the Lord is going to do. Countdown family, don't ever forget. Don't ever forget a word of the wise here. Be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. Be blessed, everybody, and have a great weekend. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. We invite you to like and share to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tune in again every Tuesday through Friday at 3 p.m. If you would like more information concerning Countdown to Courage or the Calvary Baptist Church, please visit our website today, www 
www.calvarybcug.com. Thank you, and until next time, may God richly bless you.